cats can read. What a bright time, it's the right time to rock the night away. What do ghosts eat? Goulash. <laughs> Why hello there booktube and welcome to my weekly wrap up where I let you guys know what I've been reading and what I plan on reading during the next week. So first of all I finished Unravel Me by Tahira Murphy. This is the second book that is in the Shatter Me trilogy and oh my god this book was simply amazing. It continues straight on from Shatter Me. Tahira's writing is just terrific. Let's see what I did there. This book oh my god. Warner, since Destroy Me, I have wiped the slate clean, I have fallen in love with him. Whenever he entered the room inside this book, I was like, oh my god, he is so my bae. And I, I just love this book so, so much. Just, oh, everything about it. And the way it ended, just, it leaves you wanting more. And I can't wait for Ignite Me. As well as, I don't want to read Ignite Me because it'll be the end. I don't want it to be the end. I don't want it to be the end. But this book was so good, so of course I get 5 out of 5 stars. And then I finished this novella book, so that's Fractured Me and Juliet's Journal. And Fractured Me is told from Alan's perspective, whereas Destroy Me, which I read last month, is from Warner's. Now, even when reading this from Alan's perspective, I still love Warner. I have a thing for really bad guys that come across with that sort of vibe. And Adam is like the good boy sort of thing, and I'm just like... <sighs> Go away, or you'll go away. I mean, I, I, I like him, but I just don't like him as much as Warner. And yeah, so I really, really enjoy this novella book. And what I liked about Fratch Me was that it goes from Adam when he splits away from Juliet, so we get to see what happened with Adam's side, and it just makes it more interesting to see what happens in Ignite Me. So of course I give this book 5 by 5 stars. And the final book that I completed this week is My True Love Gay To Me, which is edited by Stephanie Perkins, and the stories are written by so, so many authors. 12 winter romances are inside this book. Some of these stories I gave 5 out of 5 stars, and the majority and the rest of them I gave 4 out of 5 stars. So none of them were terrible for me. I really enjoyed all of them. A couple of them I was a bit like, it's a bit odd, but I still kind of like it, you know, that sort of thing. But I must say, Rain Burrell's one and Ali Carter's one were literally the ones that I was like, oh my god, so, so good. But it's definitely perfect for Christmas. I did do a review on this. I will link it down in the description box below if you would like to check out my full thoughts on this book. But yeah, this book was really, really good. So overall, I give it four out of five stars. And now I'm going to move on what I'm currently reading, which is Wicked by Jennifer L. Archal. This is her new, new adult paranormal story. And I believe this is going to be a trilogy because it says here, Wicked Trilogy. That's how I know. And this book is actually self-published by Jennifer L. Armitage herself. She does have published books, but inside here it actually does say published by Jennifer L. Armitage. So kudos to her JLA for doing that. She is awesome. As you can see, I am past the halfway mark at the moment. It's really, really good. This book is so, so good. You don't come across a lot of new adult paranormals. You have a lot of new adult contemporaries. And if you don't know new adult, just contains a lot of sexy times normally. Or things that are in YA but a bit more extreme. So, blood, guts and everything that's just a bit more disturbing. Rape. Sexual abuse. It's a bit more extreme. And it seems more realistic it doesn't seem as fake so that's what I like about new adult books it's not hushed down like it is in young adult books but this book is really, really good there are these creatures called Faye in it and basically the main character she has to help get rid of them and there is this mysterious one that's an ancient that is being very very difficult to get rid of and of course the sexy guy who is helping her he is creating it very hard to put this book down I, it literally, the chapter that I just read, it was a very, it was a very intimately hot scene that made me blush. And it's been a while since the book has ever done that. So I am so loving this book, but this is one of my favourite authors. She is so fantastic. Love 
love loving this book. Next of all, I'm going to go on to These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. And the sequel to this is coming out near the end of December on the 23rd, I believe. And I do have that for review, and I'm so excited to marathon both of these. So I'm planning on reading this book this week, and I'm so, so excited to get around to it because it's just a beautiful cover, and I've heard really good things about it, and I'm so, so excited. Thirdly, I've got this contemporary novel to read, which is called Love and Death theories by Alexis Bass. I mentioned this in my December TBR and this comes out the very end of December the 31st. So the very last day of December this actually comes out on and I'm looking forward to reading this. I like the cover to this actually. There are safety pins in the heart which is pretty damn cool so I'm excited about that one. The last book that I'm going to mention is the viewer's choice when I said I was going to announce it. I had a look at all of your comments. You commented on my video, on my Instagram and on my Twitter and I had all the votes up and this is the winning book which is Not A Drop To Drink by Mindy McGuinness and I'm so excited to read this book. Thank you to everybody who did vote, honestly it means the whole world because I like to involve you guys into what you would like me to read and I look forward to reading this and hopefully I shall do a non-spoiler review for this so I can upload it to let you guys know what I thought about it in big detail and uh, I'm I'm just I'm so excited about this book so thank you thank you and I look forward to beginning this next week at some point so guys that is the end of this video of the wrap up and the TBR hope you have enjoyed it as always let me know down in the comment box below if you've read any of these or if you would like to read any of these because it honestly does help me out in the comments and let me know what you guys are reading at the moment let me know what you're planning on reading in the upcoming week and I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day just give this video a like if you have enjoyed it because it lets me know that you enjoy these sort of videos keep smiling keep reading and be happy Thank you again for watching and I'll see all of you in my next video. Bye!